I was attracted to um, to physics because of the romance of the elementary particles. But that subject was radically changing just at this time because the last major ingredient of the standard model of particle physics was actually discovered just a few months before I started graduate school. The experiment had been way ahead of theory for a couple of decades. But by the time I was starting graduate school, theory was catching up. And in catching up, in developing the standard model, physics was put on new foundations, which involved a lot of mathematical questions yes. that hadn't been relevant before. This wasn't realized all at once. It came to be realized in a long process that kind of started in the mid-70s. And I think took at least a decade in my eyes before we really understood the implications. I think that this is one of the most important observations about 20th century physics and something that very few people outside the field appreciate. It's extremely hard to appreciate it, I think. Unless you've really learned quantum field theory, it would be virtually impossible to understand what I mean in saying that it's a very restrictive framework. It's very hard to change it. And its power is one of the main reasons that the standard model was discovered based on limited experimental data. At a certain point, I dimly remembered what Bob and Atiyah had lectured to us about it in Carchez, and I realized what I was stumbling onto was Morse theory. So that resulted in my paper called Supersymmetry and Morse Theory. For physicists, I explained the difficulty of supersymmetry breaking. For mathematicians, I gave a new interpretation of Morse theory. I think the paper in the long run has been more influential for math than for physics. It's kind of artificial to ignore the fact that humans stumbled upon a framework that does go beyond conventional quantum field theory and forces us to include gravity while conventional quantum field theory makes gravity impossible. Uh, I see string theory as this vast ocean of knowledge which has led to an incredible series of surprises which are about us in all directions where we're far from coming to grips with the most fundamental truths of the subject, whatever they are. <laughs>